Psalm 46, verse 1 to 11 is our Bible reading today. We have been challenged by the message of God and by God's word in this season to put trust in God because it's our refuge. God is our refuge and strength. Very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. She shall, God will help her just at the break of dawn. Verse 7. Let's go to verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. If we go to verse 10 and 11. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. This refuge that we have will not be necessary if they are not surrounding contentions. He said, the Lord is our refuge, the very present help in time of trouble. He said, we will not fear even if the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the sea. In other words, we are going to be stable, not because everything around us is stable. In other words, in fact, almost everything around us will be shaken. The book of Hebrews said, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Now did God introduce the kingdom that cannot be shaken? He said, I will shake all things so that the things which cannot be shaken will stand. This is how God identifies what cannot be shaken. He introduces shaking. Everybody thinks they have faith until they are shaking. If God wants to really prove your faith and show your faith, it causes a shaking. And if you can stand, that's when faith is with you. Faith is not just mere words, or else everybody has it. That's why the book of James said, Show me by your faith, not by your words, but by your works. They are works of faith. And in Jesus' name, you will have works of faith. When you hear the word refuge, what does it communicate to you? If you are a good student of the Bible, there was a reoccurring conversation God had with Israel from the wilderness to the promised land. The recurring conversation is about what the Bible calls the cities of refuge. God told Israel that they must have six cities of refuge. Three before the Jordan, three after the Jordan. It must be something so important that God spoke about it in Numbers. God spoke about it in Deuteronomy. There was a reference of it in the book of Joshua. Always God bringing to, to them and their consciousness that they must never forget the cities of refuge. 
Let's go to Numbers 35 from verse 10. Numbers 35 from verse 10. Speak to the children of Israel. Say to them, when you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, you will appoint cities to be cities of refuge for you. That the manslayer who kills any person accidentally may flee there. It's like if you are driving and you know how our Okada men behave in Nigeria. Sometimes they are at fault. In fact, most times they are at fault. But immediately the incidents happen. Do you have chance to what? To explain. Many years ago, I was traveling to Akure to preach. So my friend, Maso Morak, was traveling. We were traveling together, I remember. Then around the... Um, I forgot one of those times. So we, we, we got to the park and there was this unusually young boy who decided to drive the car. I was very unsettled with his look and his demeanor to drive him. Because uh, my friend said, he drives fast, but he drives well. Because he is a more experienced driver, I acceded to his testimony. Not because I didn't, I really didn't like the boy, didn't like how he looked, and I didn't like how things looked. But so I just remembered at a particular junction at that area, the last thing I remembered was I, what do you call it? I looked down and the next time i lifted my eyes i saw an okada on our bonnet with a man in motorcycle it was a massive you know i'm not talking of ashiru talking of express it was a massive hit the windscreen was broken all i knew was that the car parked and our driver was nowhere to be seen. He just ran. He was put his hand on his head and he was running around. Ah, he has killed somebody. Came out. Came out. Confidently. Rack. Now. Where is the driver? Where is the driver? They couldn't find the driver. We just stood at one part of the bush. And uh, at the point, my friend said, Let's go get our bags. Because there's a risk of that car being burnt. The truth of the matter is that according to law, there was nothing. No, Kadaman was doing on that type of lane. There are some type of you people don't even know law. Some of you will tell Okadaman, carry me, express my baby Lord Joy. <laughs> but before you explain whether it's accidental or not, human reaction can create judgment, even if it is not true. Are you following me? And you know the very funny thing about it because the man laid there lifeless after some minutes. But that for one reason or the other, the man came back to life. Bleeding. There was an old man. Not if it's somebody you can say, well, took a hit. There was no man. My friend said, God did not want our eyes to see you. We parked our back right by the road where we picked another car and we know the Lord has uh, the Lord has not allowed us to see you. But so 
there are things that happen and they are not intentional but they don't they don't elicit less reactions especially if you are dealing with these motorcycle guys here immediately something happens in three minutes there are 30 of them and it does not matter whether it's the guy that if god does not help you he will mob you and that was one of the reasons why god created cities of refuge when such things happen where a man runs to the city of refuge when he enters that place there will still be a noise outside there will still be a reaction but they cannot touch you that's why he said god is our refuge we will not be moved even though the mountains be moved that means where we are there's going to be a difference between where we are what is happening around are you following me go back to that psalm 46 oh no that number 35 i beg your pardon number 35 verse 10. Numbers 35, let's go to verse 10. Speak to the children of Israel, say to them, when you cross Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you will appoint cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the manslayer who kills any person accidentally may flee there. They, sh they shall be cities of refuge for you from the avenger. That the manslayer may not die until he stands before the congregation in judgment. He would have been killed. And the cities which you give, you shall have six cities of refuge. You shall appoint three cities on this side of the Jordan. Three cities you shall appoint in the land of Canaan, which shall be cities of refuge. These six cities shall be for refuge for the children of Israel, for the stranger, for the sojourner among them, that anyone who kills a person accidentally may flee there. But if he strikes him with a high on implement so that he dies, it's not a mod it's a murderer. There's a difference between a manslayer and a murderer. And it's about intention. Are you following me? But you know what? Intention is the hardest thing to perceive. People will judge from the in the outward, the manslayer and the murderer are the same. In the inside, the manslayer and the murderer are different. In the out, in the outside, the action of the manslayer and the murderer is the same. But in the inside, they are not the same. And the problem and the limitation of man is because they are trapped to the outside. So they can't discern the intentions. And that's why God had to create the cities of refuge. So that they can create a difference. Because left to human beings, you will be wrongly judged. Because they don't have the capacity to read your inside. Man look at the outward appearance. But God looks at the heart. And if God leaves you with man, they will call the manslayer a murderer and they will rise against him are you following me if he smite him with an instrument of eyes so that there is a murderer the murderer shall surely be put to death and if he smite him with train the stone wherewith he may die and he die is a murderer the murderer shall surely be put to death or if he smite him with an armed weapon of wood where he may die is that and he die is a murderer and the murderer shall surely be put to death the revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer amazingly the person called the avenger of blood or the revenger of blood is the high priest he will slay the murderer when he meet him he shall slay continue the avenger of if he pushes him out of hatred while lying in wait or something at him so that he dies or in enmity strikes him with his hand so that he died, the one who struck him shall be surely put to death as a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when he meets him. However, if he pushes him suddenly without enmity, or throws anything 
without lying in wait. Uses a stone by which a man could die, throwing it at him without seeing him, so that he dies while he was not in his while he was not his enemy or seeking his arm. Then the congregation shall judge between the manslayer and the avenger of blood according to this judgment. Are you following me? So the congregation shall deliver the manslayer from the hand of the avenger of blood. The congregation shall return him to the city of refuge where he had fled. And he shall remain there until the death of the high priest who was anointed with holy oil. Let's go. We'll stop in verse 29. But if the manslayer at any time goes outside the limits of the cities of refuge where he fled, and the avenger of blood finds him outside the limits of the city of refuge, and the avenger of blood kills the manslayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in his city of refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the manslayer may return to the land of his possession. These things shall be a statute of judgment. You have jumped to you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. I just want to give a quick. Uh, if you get home, you can read Deuteronomy 19 1 to 13. It's still speaking about it. Why do you need the Lord as your refuge? Because there is a point in your life. Where your flesh is shouting something, your spirit is saying. And your flesh can have a great grip that people will be describing you by your flesh, even though they cannot read the willingness of your spirit. Your spirit can be willing, and your flesh is weak. And that when that happens, People will interpret your journey according to the flesh. Only one person sees it according to the spirit. And people don't judge with mercy. Are you following? It's only when it concerns themselves that mercy flows. When it concerns other people, it's easier for people to be intense with judgment. Are you following me? And so God said, because of those things, I'll create a window. And the window shall be called the city of refuge. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Romans chapter 7 verse 21 to 25. Romans chapter 7 verse 21 to 25. I find then a law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. That man that is called the man's layer, it's just holding an axe and a tree, and it's not, it doesn't have an intention. The intention for holding the axe is good. His action with the axe is evil. It's like a man who delights in the law of God according to the inward man. Are you following me? Next verse. But I see another law in my members. Warring. No, yesterday evening I told us the end of flesh has come. I did not say the cry of flesh has come. The cry of flesh has ended. Do we have so much of raging cries in your flesh? Seize control of your life by yourself. To run your life in your own pace. You will find another law. That you have come to church this day. Does not mean this other law will cease to exist. Ishmael was born before Isaac. Isn't it? And the day they gave back to Isaac. Ishmael did not die. In fact. The Bible said the day they were winning Isaac. Sarah saw what? He saw Ishmael. Mocking. Something is going to happen to you within the next few weeks. That is going to challenge. Is this the way you want to continue to move? It's a voice of the flesh warring against the voice of your spirit. Are you following me? And there will be such contentions. There will be some noise. Great noise. You see, anybody can say I have faith. 
if everything is quiet. One of the greatest challenges that Psalm 46 gave us is be still and know. How many of you can be still? Is it very easy to be still? What that you know, when they, one of the things people hardly obey is what they call let's give a man, let's give somebody a mini silence. Because it's very hard to get a minute silence from people. You can get 10 hours noise from people, but to get a minute silence. Because immediately, it's like when you say you have come to church, put off your phone. That's when somebody remembers, somebody wants to call me. Let me put it on vibration. How many of you have come to church and you never received a call for three hours? Not even a message. Amen. The ones that came in were just broadcast. But if you put it off, people will be telling you, my Jagbai name may, may not be this time that my benefactor we call. Call where? Because the law in our flesh is loud. Are you following me? It's a noisome pestilence. Are you following me? See? To come to be still and know that I am God. It's not a natural decision. You can't be still by a resolution. This year, it will move me. <laughs> but you already moved. Doesn't matter what anybody does. Who goes, who comes. Okay? When people leave, you can be doing both face. But you are conscious. God needs to help us recover the true foundations of walking with Him. See, before God gave us men, He gave us Himself. And it was after He gave us Himself that men came into their place. But we can get to a point in our life where it becomes very hard to make contact with that God because of the men He had brought. So when those men go, what do we do? We are shaking. Be still. And do you know how you will be still? I know. Not by absence. When you want to be far from the noisome pestilence that is in the land, you must have found a city of refuge. Where when people misjudge you, it does not get at you. Because if a man slayer enters the city of refuge, there will still be people standing outside. We need this air. It's a, it's a shadow of blood. They will call him bad names. They will say they will, they will abuse his father. They will abuse his mother. But they can't enter that place. May you get to a point where no irritation of man can shift you from base anymore. That's when you are... When I'm talking to you about the year when God is your trust, it means God is your absolute focus. I'm going to get to a point where Paul said, to be judged of man. It's a light thing. Those men. Have you seen people talk conclusively about what they know nothing about? They know virtually nothing about. There are people that have pastored churches on their on the social media or with the, the notes. Just what do you do? What do you do? Well, number one. You just choose choir leader. Number two, you put an assistant. Number three, technical. No shame, no shame. Go there. Are you following me? Are you following me, church? So this, this one, go to that Romans 7 again. He said, inside of me, there is another law. But outside of me, I see another law. Warring. Somebody say warring. That's the word I'm looking at. Warring. Because there is going to be contentions. It's not going to be quiet. It's not going to be quiet. It's going to be a war. The flesh lost against the spirit. The spirit lost against the flesh. Is you are going to have to, you will see some sparks when that contention happens. Are you following me? So it, that law brings me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of sin, of death? I thank God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I serve the Lord of God, but with the flesh I serve the Lord of sin. I thank God. 
I thank God. Because there are things that you come into and you cannot deliver yourself except God is there. God is our help. A very present help in the time of trouble. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Are you still following me, church? You need that refuge because men judge by appearance. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12. For we do not commend us ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boast on our behalf that you may have an answer for those who boast in appearance and not in heart. God wants your post, your real content, to be what is in your heart. But that's a challenge. Because before you meet God, you're going to pass through a lot of the corridors of men who don't do at the heart. Saul had no problem waiting for Samuel. It was not about his heart. It was about the people. When I saw the people scattered, he didn't say, I felt God was not going to help me. The problem is that he see more of people. Are you following me? And we see God. So much that sometimes if you are not careful, you can even start describing your Christianity according to human measurements. Ah, uh, you are a good son, a good daughter. If your heart is condemning you, if anybody is telling you you are a good person, if something is telling you you are inside, what you did is wrong, it is wrong. It does not matter who is telling you you are good. That, that metric is in your own inside, it's your spirit man. Are you following me? That God has put there. And you see, we can silence that more. And you can get to a point too where there is a noise of people around you and there is a quietness in your spirit. And you'll be considered as somebody that, does not, that doesn't take things serious. Well, God, if God is by me, who can be against me? Many of you think that's, that statement is a very easy statement. If God is for us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Anybody can go. Is it true? Huh? Is it true? When last did you do it? That you walk a decision solely on God against the noisome pestilence. Have you ever seen that sometimes what people put upon us as bodies is even more than the one God has given you? The way some people will describe this here for you, you will, you, God will say, Calm down, I am God. Be still, I'm walking. You will go into the presence of God, you will come with peace. Then you talk to your cousin. This is your year. This is your year. If you miss this year, sir. You miss this. Year. You know that if somebody wins election, and that's another eight years of your life. And there's a way they will talk that you will forget sermons. You forget that you had a what night service where somebody said, This year you are moving, you started in God's presence, God will go with you. Those things will become a far distant memory by some interaction. What are your plans? For example, everybody around you in the first two months of the year, the next time they just talk to you, it's like, next week, land low. And where? Canada. God bless you. God. No, you will rejoice with them that I rejoice, but in your heart, you will say, God, what's happening to me? There's a way you can even get to and cry. Especially if you were denied. <laughs> you look around you. The noise of people's decision can challenge the 
faith, the quietness of faith in your own inside. If you don't have a place to shield yourself from that noise, oh, that's what God wants to be for us this year. Because there is a place you are going, you can't respond to every impulse. You hear what I'm saying? You can't respond to every impulse, every pull, everything everybody is doing. You are not everybody. You didn't hear what I said. I said you are not everybody. It does not matter what everybody. You are not everybody. But I tell you the truth. You can't stand in the midst of that noise and survive. You must find a city of refuge. When you enter the place, they silent. May you get every time you get into God's presence, may there be a silence of the voices of the earth. So that you can be, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the earth. The earth can never become too big for me to lead and to control. The heart is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and all of them that dwell in it. It has not changed. It's an eternal truth. That everybody you will meet this year, they are, they, are, they are made by God. Everybody you will need this year, they are made by God. The heart of kings are in the hand of God. Are you following me? The seas where you will travel, they are made by God. The year where you will fly, it was made by God. The heart is the Lord and he has, the fullness of, and he has not ceded control to anybody. Are you following me? Even though you will see some noise and some raging that will make you think that those things are now operating by themselves. There was that wind and that sea that rose up in the days of Paul. And Paul looked at the people around him. He said, I, I belong to God and I serve him. And I know that everything he told me will be. This sea has a control somewhere. It didn't rise by itself. It wasn't made by itself. In the beginning, somebody said, let the dry land appear. And he gathered the waters into one side. And he called the land hot. Then he called the waters, he gathered on one side, seas. The seas are controlled. Even though when you meet them, it seems that they are independent. There's a way you look at the world and the world looks like it's independent. It's acting by its own impulse, by its own strength. It's a lie. The heart is the Lord. The Lord is your father. The heart is the Lord. The Lord is your father. And that is true for every second of 2023. Who is going to be your boss this year is made by God. Who is going to be your subordinate this year is made by God. Are you following me? You can, and God has never created somebody he can catch. God will say, ah, he to mwa lo dui, file new. If you want to have rest, you must have refuge. You must have refuge, and the refuge must be God. If God is missing in your journey, the noise of this world will silence you. It's going to be noise. There's going to be trembling. There's going to be shaking. Let me tell you the truth. Forget how many fireworks you saw last night. At this morning, wishes alone can't control the forces of what is happening anymore. You have started fighting today. I'm going to neighbor. Your neighbor, they are already fighting now. I said, oh Lord, I must change this out this year, this year, this year. Is this man that greeted me happy new year this year? What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? Their children are always crying too much. They are, they are, they are, they are sons. They are dogs. They just bought a new dog. Who can fight you for anything? Your oh, happy new year can be too loud. Some people. There's all one man on TV highly this month. Said the same. There's nothing about this new year. You can make the new year. You can decide that your whole new year is September 1. Then look at corporate uh, businesses. Their year does not end at 1. I said, so what is the fight? I just told my man, I said, what's the fight? Start your new year, September 1. See, are, some people are just angry because you just came to celebrate new year. If your whole new year wants to start March 3rd, it's no problem. Who celebrates it? It's a milele. Some people just like wahala in this world. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
I say hallelujah. In John 7 verse 24, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 7, you see that same continuous rendition about the judgment according to appearance. He said, do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 7. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 7. Do not look at things according to the outward appearance. Are you seeing it every time? God is always warning us never to be trapped according to the outward appearance. That's why the city of refuge is needed. The city of refuge is where the judges sit and separate. And say, so you see, everything appears, you say, but they are not the same. Because if, it, if there's no such judgment, you will mix things up. You will get worked up. Are you following me? You will, you will judge who ought not to be judged. Because you just don't have discernment. Okay, in the name of Jesus, I ask that discernment be your portion. I ask for an increased measure of discernment in 2023. Don't judge according to outward appearance. Some of you are in moments where you should be thanking God, but you have allowed the noise around you and the movements around you to stop your voice of thanksgiving. Are you following me? He lifted a man. Tell him to be thanking. He was going. Everybody was greeting him. Everybody was. But when he turned around, just some of the guy, and his mood changed. I mean, that was a man you could just overlook. He had nothing, he added nothing, he removed nothing from you. But the problem is that he said, now said, he will not die alone. In fact, I will wipe out his entire nation. Go to the quick here. Some of you need to be delivered. Because some people have not sent you a pre new year message. Now you're already getting worked up. Maybe my value, if I'm their pastor, if I if, I, if really if they value me, if they value me, get out of that flesh. It will just war against what God is doing in your spirit. You will not be able to focus. It takes a lot of spiritual consciousness to silence the flesh. I'm telling you the truth. Flesh is loud. Some of you are, you are in seasons of great thanksgiving. Throughout January, you should have no petition. But the flesh is too loud. The minute you say, Father, I thank you, this, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that not the way? Is that purposeful promotion? What promotion? Where is the purpose? Where is the promotion? Continue. I want to promote, promote. Maybe what Lolo promote. You, what you told, what you are saying to me is that where you ended last year is where you started. Is that true? You can't hear like I can't, I didn't see purposeful promotion because you didn't have purpose. So when promotion came, you didn't see you didn't see it. Yes, now if you don't have purpose, you won't see the promotion. We have allowed the flesh to be too to be too loud. Are you following me? If you don't do this, our people will not respect you. Yeah, you too, you too. Your your when you want to preach now, nah, everybody must know that there is power. Calm down. If God does not announce you, nobody can. Microphone can't. Hold it very well. Shout like see if your face wants to burst. That's not what brings your authority. But this noise is not easy to silence. I won't I won't lie to you. Are you following? The Bible says when they made Saul king, some people did not come to him with presents. The Bible made us to know Saul knew. So do as if you don't know when people are dealing with you wrongly. They lie. You know? But it takes power to silence it from controlling you. But don't, ignore, don't do as if you did not see. Many at times it's easier to even not see honor. But dishonor is very passive. Have you noticed? You know, they shake me. I'm going to tell you, you want to me by. And Mr. Shea, Mr. Shea, Mr. Shea. Hey, Mr. Shea. Hey, Mr. Shea. When they want to kill some people, just put pastor in front of their name. Immediately, somebody stop calling them pastor. <laughs> That's happened to me. I'm not describing you. Me. Pastor Tyler. 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 I have to tell myself at some point. Some people knew you from. So if they see you and say, Tyler, how are you? Don't feel bad. 
some of your protocol officers will begin to give them problems. No, 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 no. Are you talking to Pastor Taya like that? That's, they met me where you did not meet me. And if they want, now, nah, if they want to disrespect, that's their headache. It does not add anything or change anything. Are you following me? It takes power to say, be still. God is working. God is working. I said, God is working. I said, be still. And if you want to be still, you must have entered into that place called refuge. And your key into it is called trust. If you don't trust God, don't take God as your refuge. Are you following me? We trust your pace, your running, your skills. <laughs> Glory to God. First Corinthians 4, verse 3 to 5. For with me, it's a very small thing that I, be, I should be judged by you or by a human court. You get to a point in your life. Where what people say or don't say becomes very minute. <laughs> it's a small thing. How many of you say, is it a small thing to you concerning what people say about you? Very is a small thing. Is it that small? Is it really small? But that's what you live for. That's your description of destiny. When you have fed day, you go and check your Facebook. Pastor did not write about you. <laughs> See the word he used for me, just said, my brother. Not that some people you want to respect them so much to call them my brother. They say you dishonor. Say, hey, hey, son, look at me, son, me, son, me, sir. It is a a communion. I've seen funny things, and even me, there are people I want them to say some things about me. Any, I know you are doing as if these things don't matter. It's a lie. It's a lie. I know you because I know myself. I know what is in my I don't need to open everybody. I open one or two men to know the lungs that are here, the kidneys that are around here. So I can predict if you are normal. That is how it is positioned in you. These things are ancient with human beings and they have elements with all of us. But man, this man is a very small thing. Because a human court can let the murderer go. Because they don't know. And the human court can judge a, a man's slayer. They can call the guiltless guilty and call the guilty guiltless. A very small thing to be judged by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. Even me. Therefore, I know nothing against myself. Yet I'm not justified by this. You can mark yourself right and you are not still right. Do you hear what I just said? But he who judges me is the, see, the, this is a statement of trust. The Lord, if you tell me I am wrong, even if I don't feel it, then I am wrong. You don't get it. If you tell me I am wrong, even if I look at it and I say, what else will I have done? Every time I look at the Bible said one day Saul was chasing David. Then David found him in a cave. And the Bible said, David men said, kill Saul. And David said, I will not kill the Lord's anointed. Then David took a knife and cut a part of Saul's robe and his heart smote him. Uh -uh. On that day before human beings, David was the most righteous man. Because he should have killed Saul. He only just took a portion of his head. Heart smoothly. That's God for you. And mark yourself right. Your heart will still smite you. Even if your heart does not condemn you, that's what the book of John said. What's John said? He said, God is greater than your heart. <laughs> See, that is why you can't even allow your entire navigation guide to be your whole values. That's why you say to God, Lord, search me. And if there's any wicked way in me, 
show me the way everlasting such me means i'm not going to sit down and just think that in my own world because i think i got it right i'm very right are you following me he said i will not even he said even i can't judge myself are you off again therefore judge nothing before the time until the lord comes who will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsel of the heart each one's praise will come from god i pray for you this year that your praise will come from god in the name of jesus that god will look at you and say and pass accurate words over you and say i've seen what you have done in the secret what no man knows what no man knew you were doing the types of prayers you are praying the types of devotions you are giving and i'm going to reward you in the public the reason why most people don't have a secret life anymore before god is because they have no trust you see when you when you start living before people every time it's because you your sense of reference of reward in that place is stronger to your mind than the God who sees in secrets. That's why most Christians today don't have any secret life. I mean, before God. It's what we do here. 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 Because we relate with the human experience. But let me tell you the truth. No matter what men see of you, they can't see you as far as God knows you. And your right judgment and with nobody. It's a fearful thing. Your right judgment are with nobody. Hey, even if I have thanked you last year, but you know your heart, every time you are doing it, you are hungry. Hey, Boko, thank you. Your praise is not from God. Some of you should go and go and say, hey, hey, hey. Pastor said you did well. Did you do well? Put another litmus test. And if your even if your heart gave you the right, put another litmus test and say, God, what do you say? <laughs> because the final arbiter is his voice. Rich men were giving to the altar like this. They were giving. Jesus saw a, 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 a widow. Jesus said, This woman has given more than all. Do you understand? And Jesus said, those people gave in their riches. There are some things you did because you can't do. Not because you, not because you know the right thing, that is the right thing to do. There's a difference between doing something because you can do it and doing something because you know is the right thing to do. Are you hearing me? Secret place. That's the city of refuge. We should become scarce in the opinion of men. We become very present before God. Very strange message. But I want you to have eternal things. It's because I'm telling you. Now, let me bring you to the thoughts that is bringing all this to me. And I look at church today. Church has become very predictable. People now know how to church. Somebody said, if the Holy Spirit leaves church for two years, church will still be running. Do you know why? How do we start service? Opening prayer. And have you noticed that anytime you come here, you have passion? Have you noticed? If you are seated there, you'll be looking like nothing is interesting. But the minute they give you a microphone, say, People are not praying. You people are not praying. Question, when did you pray in the spirit last in your, in your room? How many of you have prayed in the spirit for 30 minutes before this service? Kaba, leba, rote, gede, bando, badige. But when I say, come here, he say, ha, ha, but I will but you are not praying very well. You are not praying very well. Ah, ya, batada. This is our new year. That was it. Thank you for making the service very, very bright. <laughs> but already me at your delay. <laughs> Recently, I told my I'm, as I asked him, I said, "How much of praise do I?" Because in last last year, I was so bothered with so many things. I discovered that when I'm praying, I discovered it, it was not as easy for me to stay in praise like I used to. 
It's where I used to stay. When I, when I first got born again, when I pray for one hour, I'm not lying. Sometimes I sing and praise for 55 minutes. I just, just being in that atmosphere, just being in that presence, it's everything. But today, as a father, Lord, the father, you remember the you remember the ushers, they need your help. Mando Roboko Sikedebaya. Hey Braba Baba Numbradia Yegedea. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the prayer band. I see strength for them now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, remember that guy that didn't greet me very well. Mokosha, I know any Lord forgive them. We are just walked up. And we do church on and on and on and on. We, because we know what to do. When people want to describe church growth for you now, it's very easy. Prayer is not one of the things. Go to, towards UI. Plant a church. Get a screen. They can get transport. Come and move and work. Come and move. Lato stay. They get. Hey. Then. What else? Tell me now. Maybe you know. Who are the church planters there? Because we want to plant church this year. Greeters. Put greeters there. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. We celebrate you, we celebrate. It be cool. That's why sometimes I'm, I'm, I don't even know whether we're in a revival. I did tell some last time, there's one question I couldn't answer. I said, are we in a revival or not? I said, I don't know. Until now, I don't know. Don't be moved by meetings. So say, one funny man came to my house and he said, man of God, Carol, can you money? Why? Why? He said, even in those, he mentioned the most prominent meetings we all run to. In a whole year now, before you see a blind man's eyes open there. Because everybody is going there not to see Jesus. You know what they are thinking? You know, oh, attend to me, attend to me, attend to me, attend to me. I was watching one crossover night last night. You will see the way people are praying. Oh God. The way they were praying, if you see the crowd of people in this bad. Everyone was praying. There's so much activity. Are you following me? But I discovered that to get the real experience with God becoming very scarce. Then in the truth. Including here. We have expectation. Where is the expectation? Because we know what we are expecting. We know what we are not expecting. Are you following me? Oh, we should really learn anyone. May the Lord break us down and open us up. Are you following me? You've gotten used to it. Start to bink on That's why you keep hearing these sermons that don't change. Because you don't even hear the voice of the Spirit. And the voice of the Spirit is present in the midst of this, in this, in the midst of these interactions. This. <laughs> Glory to God. That's why I told myself I must recover. The foundation. Because there is something called leaning on the harm of flesh. You can lean the harm of flesh. You can lean on the wisdom of man. They are support systems, but they will not take us far to the farthest point we should go. It's not that they will not take us. They, they, they will sustain us. Are you following me? People can take so many decisions today without praying. Are you following me? We have gotten the, the noise of the environment as gained an entrance into us and the voice of the Holy Spirit. Ah, you, ah, do you know your age this year? <laughs> so, who, who, neighbor, who, is, who is even walking you up? Was Baba Divida said, if anybody say you, if you say, Lord, I'm too late, said, you must have been the master of time. Must be the timekeeper of God to know that you are late. Are you do, do you keep time? Like I used to say, everybody that said they were late when they were married, until they married, they discovered there were too many people. They said, All oh, my mates were married. Is a lie. 
It's an exaggerated expression of the devil. We still have our misery. Watch, watch him be more. Watch him marry. Don't get that close. Whoa, cool down. I'm not saying it's the idea, but you sit down in your corner and you begin to shout yourself down. Hey, hey, things are not working. In fact, at a point, that's when people end in all these prayer mountains because somebody, somebody, you say something's wrong, sir. So when they come to this type of chance, it is well with you, say pastor. And they get, it's not where, not where. I say it's well with you. I see you moving higher. It's well with you. So you can't tell me be maybe fifteen. It's because you are in Nigeria and you are poor. That the way people that you are running to their country build fifteen houses. It's our system that is not working that makes you think you must build ten houses to have a sense of value. Who told you? And that is why the people that you have gone to university you have sent you build the house in Akala way you shut it. Then one mega is living there. You can't even call your own friend and say, "Let me near." Oh, darling. Well, we, all these things are reflections of the lack of trust. I'm telling you the truth. Who brought himself to the spot where you are? See, 2023 is an adventure. Do you know why? I know it's an adventure because I'm used to God doing things that I don't even expect. I'm used to God just moving, and when He starts moving, I know it. It's, it's at work. It's at work. It's at work. It's at work. Are you following me? And, and I discovered a word that I told a lady many years ago has been true. I was trying to date the lady, and the lady's father sat me down. He said, oh, "So what is? What are you doing?" I said, "I preach an itinerary." Yes, so so. I was looking at this America dog. That's an hospital. I was looking at me. <laughs> now I said, "Well, somebody cannot have God's work. I will say it does not have work." Said, so uh, I said, let me tell you, sir, I've learned by experience. As my need increases, my capacity increases. I've never seen the word as true. And it is not brain, it's faces, it's journey. Are you following me? That will be your testimony. There was a time in my life I used to think that half a million hundred thousand. Not very age. Look on Google. Don't follow me. I'm getting to a point today. If you give me 100,000, I guess God bless you because you will not even record. I'm, you might not believe it. I was just like, hey, this is where, amen. I was afraid in December. I was afraid. From Utopia to, I was afraid. Yes. I'm going for my bar. I looked at my wife and said, hey, my bar will leave. My bar will leave. My will leave. <laughs> I was afraid. I'm telling you. No. Uh, uh, this is January 2020. It's, it's late. <laughs> but but now it's not, it doesn't mean I have 10 billion. Just see that I'm still using my car. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is that some things. The day is coming. That when they say. 500,000. It will not be an issue in your life. You will say, bring the next challenge. Let, let's talk about something. Even if you don't have it in your pocket, you know you have overcome it. You know there are two different phases. There's a point in your life you can look at your pocket and you don't have the money, but you know you are more than that money. It's value. Because Pastor Adebe said, can you imagine if I say I need a shoe? Yeah. Even if you wore slippers there and say, I need a shoe, he was going to create a problem. That some shoe shops will close down. And he, might, <laughs> and he might not have the money. But he has passed that face. Do you get what I'm talking about? That's your journey. It's not even about all that you have in your account part time. So I will make your name great. So when God blesses you, to a point, it's not going to be Pastor Tayo. You are going to appear and say, Tayo, Daddy. It's your name. Your name is the is the password. It's not even your office. He said, "Where you are still struggling? Oh, you didn't call me Apostle. It's like everybody now wants to be Apostle. It is your name. God wants to make great. It's not the title. 
Put the apostle there. If your name is not great, it's not great. God will make your name great. <laughs> I want I to command it to do. Some people that were ordained bishops years ago are now looking for a way to undo it. <laughs> the only thing they have now is cassock. Bless you, bless you. <laughs> God will make your name, your journey great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing the word of the Lord? Let's read Psalm 91. Let's read Psalm 91. 91 and I give us three scriptures and I'm true. I'm, I'm just tying up how trust put, brings us into the refuge of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Which means when people misjudge me, do you know where I turn my direction to? The Lord. Do you know when I'm beginning to have those conflicts between my flesh and my spirit? Who do I turn to? The Lord. I will say to the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. There is a link between what you trust and what becomes your refuge. Surely we deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. That translation says, from the noisome, noise, he will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings, you will take refuge. Are you seeing the word again? Under whose wing will you take refuge? His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of terror by night, nor arrow that flies by day. Somebody called me this morning. The person didn't have a dream. I never dreamt about me before. Ah, I saw you me a dream. I hear him a dream. I am going to kidnap him. Let me go. Let me go now. Kidnap. Let me go. We need some equipment. Travel. You can stay in your house. They will kidnap you. It's not by traveling. It's by where you are dwelling. If mama is hearing for the first time, she knew here. <laughs> but I know the best is terrified. He can't even go out of his house. Yeah. We will be on the land. We will be in the sea. We will be in the air. We will be in the nation. We will be outside of the nation. Get ready, get ready. I said, "My feeling is dead. Fuck that dead. I want to do it. I want to share one big. Are you ready? Both within and outside, and outside. But it's of you, baby. I will not be afraid of the pestilence that walk in darkness. These things are are true. They are real." Don't blame the person for dreaming that dream. There is kidnapping in Nigeria. It is where you are dwelling that does not make you know. Every place you pass this December, there are some people who pass there are regretted. So he was like going to challenge. We are going to Oshobo, you remember? As we passed the place, we just saw an islander. Islander. 20, 20, all those beautiful. It was in flames. The, the others were standing by and watching the thing burn down. Just continue the movement. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. You shall not be afraid of the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at Monday or Oruko or Osoko. You don't get what I'm saying. There is a pestilence that lies at noonday. I was coming out of church on a Sunday afternoon here last year. It was around 1 p.m. My car is too padded. I didn't know they were shooting in front of me. 
All I saw was that I saw everybody turning, or cadaver men turning. I said, kid, no jealous. Then someone said, ha, ha, hey, brother, hey, brother. By the time I just reversed, I came in church. Then the people who were in church, the pastor he didn't hear. Said they shot about three times. Hey, yo, bo. <laughs> Even me that was at the, the, the road did not hear. That's Monday. In the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is your refuge. A thousand may fall at your side. And ten thousand at your right hand. But they shall not come near you. See those cities of refuge. The mob can't enter it. They can stand outside and be making noise. But when you step into that place, there is complete silence. When you make the Lord your refuge, you shut down. There is going to be so much noise between now and my birthday, which is the, which is the presidential election. Pastor Dewey said this morning, I listened to him. He said one that I like. He said this year, a lot of balloons will be deflated. Ah, I said, yes, that's a word. That's a word. That's a word. That's a word. We said, all those people looking for promotion without purpose, with their balloon, we must, we must deflate. How come are you? <laughs> I don't know. You are the one that says, I just show you. I don't know who he's talking about. All I know is that some people's balloon. <laughs> I didn't say anything. But whoever, whatever happens, I will not be afraid. Only with your eyes you shall look. You will stay in that city of refuge. The mob will be looking at you like, but they can't cross. You say, you, you have no right to pass judgment on me. You have no right to make conclusions on me. You have no right to throw me into the lion's den. You have no right. Are you following me? Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Only with your eyes you shall look. Mm. You don't hear what? I will learn this year how God deals with the proud. It will be part of things I will show my grandchildren. I say in 2023, there was some inflated balloon that God just I don't know what it means, but I will see too. Say, are you following me? God is no restraint, and I'm not against anybody. The inflated balloon can be obi. Telling you because I will uh, put on boo, you know, inflation, inflated balloon. It has abusing uh, everybody all around. That's, that's, uh, it can be Tinumbu, it can be Atiku, it can even be you. Because some of you are too inflated. The end of the flesh has come. Only with your eyes you will look and see the reward of the wicked. Continue. Because you have made the Lord, which is my. Are, are you seeing? Are you seeing that word, your calling? Which is my refuge? Even the most high, your dwelling place. I don't dwell in Akala Road. I dwell in the most high. Which automatically means it is not even about what happens around where I dwell. Because the city of refuge is within the territories of Israel. But the judgment you can pass in the territories of Israel, you can't pass it in the cities of refuge. Are you following me? No evil shall befall you. Nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Say the angels of the Lord, they have charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Or do you want Nick by? 
one of your ways is your business endeavors you will not put your wealth in the hand of frosters he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways your ways are not just traveling your ways are even decisions when you are ST and you are moving ahead of God, he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. If you believe, he say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. In their hands, they will bear you up. Lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent, you shall trample on the foot. I said you will trample them on the foot. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And verse 16 said. With long life I will satisfy. Him and I will show him my salvation. Hear the word of the Lord. Nothing will cut short your life. You have been delivered from the guilt of bloodshed. You have been delivered from the guilt of bloodshed. Therefore, nothing will cut short your life. Because you have made the Lord your God your refuge. You have made him your covering. He will satisfy you with long life. Man, they fed up if they've killed the man slayer that day even if he had a thousand seeds to sow into Israel as generation they would have been lost but because it's preserved his seed was preserved hear the word of the Lord the seed coming out of you this year blessed oh for the Lord has preserved your life and the Lord has preserved your seed you will not cast your young you will not be barren in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will see your seed they will come forth in their food the Lord will satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ he will show you his salvation he will show you his salvation the password to this city of refuge when the when the man slayer runs into it what is he saying I put my judgment in God's hand not man it means if I get there and God says you are guilty so be it but if I get there I have a chance before the one who sees in secret and rewards in the open this year I give you a chance wherever man has nullified you God will visit your case Ah, I give you a chance. This year, you have a chance. Everyone that misused a chance in 2022, by the word of the Lord, we give you another chance. We give you another chance. We give you another chance. You have a chance again, a chance to get your due reward. Your cases will be revisited. Where you have been wrongly judged, you will be revisited. You'll be revisited. Abala Yembota every day. Candy Lobotavia and the Rusia. As from this day, January 1, 2023, I command a revisitation over every error passed over you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the places they said are impossible. The same mouth that called it impossible will call it possible. He will call it possible. There is a revisitation. He will call it possible. For the Lord has stepped into your case. In the mighty name of Jesus. The doctor that said it can't happen. We come back and say it can happen. It can happen. We increase your chances. We increase your chances. We increase your chances. We increase your chances. By the word of the Lord. Where you have gone and seen hundred. You will go back to the place and see a thousand. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall become a great nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is a year of opportunities. I said it last night. That trust will make you see opportunities. More chances for opportunity. I said there will be opportunities for you. 
They said you have come to the height of your career. Ibolo Tunlo, there is another space. There is another step. There is another step. There is another opening. There is another opening. There is a movement for you. There is a movement for you. If you think you have come to a dead end, we turn it to an opening by the word of the Lord. Your judgments are with the God of heaven. They are not with men. 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 The God who has seen your secret tears, how you wept in, over the temptation you fell before, but he saw you weeping. This year he will give you public strength. Public strength, public strength to be able to say no wherever the enemy has gained an advantage before. In the name of Jesus, your case is revisited. I say it's revisited in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, listen to me. We have a final choice to make. I have come to make the Lord my refuge, I will not allow the noise of the environment to silence. It's now a choice you have to make. In 1 Samuel, I give you three scriptures were true. Chapter 13 from verse 5 to 14. We know the story. The Philistines gathered together to fight Israel. 30,000 chariots. 6,000 horsemen. People as as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude. They came up and camped in Mikmash to the east of Ben Ab. When the men of Israel saw that they were in danger, for the people were distressed, and the people hid in caves, in tickets, in rocks, in oaks, in pits. And some of the Hebrews crossed over the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. As for Saul, he was still in Gilgal. And the people followed him trembling. Please, which verse here has, spoke, has spoken any motivation? You see what came against him? The Philistines came. He showed us a cyber cyber army. The men of Israel started hiding. The one who remained were trembling. The flesh is so loud. Everywhere he turned, the only thing he was saying is defeat. Defeat. Then he waited seven days for all this that is happening. I know the Philistines have a sizable army. I know the men of Israel are afraid. I know the people that are even with me are trembling. But if God comes, maybe I will have the capacity to fight all those contradictions. But he waited for seven days according to the time said by Samuel. And Samuel did not come. One more. It is almost impossible not to respond in the flesh this this barrage is too much every i i put on the tv i see a trembling people i go to my office i see a trembling people i go to the church i see a trembling people i talk to my friends i see a trembling people and when i came to church pastor is teaching about something that does not look relevant then when somewhere did not come to Gilga, and the people were scattered every indices that was mentioned was in the contrary. Are you saying, hey, if you are living in the territory of contrary noises, you need to run into God. Ah, see, making God your trust is no cheap talk. Some of you need to pray yourself into it until your mind agrees that my heart is on God. The Bible says, it will keep them in perfect peace. Whose mind is not whose mind thinks. Because your mind can think and, and stray. He said whose mind is stayed. That means you have hanged it. You have pinned it. You, you, you have, are you following me? That's going to, and he waited for seven days and the people scattered and look at the next verse. And he, he said bring me a bond of piece of a hair. And he offered the bond of Apple, as soon as he has finished presenting the bond of him, that Samuel came. So I went out to meet him and he, that he might greet him. And Samuel said, what have you done? He said, when I saw that the people were scattered from me and that you did not come within the days appointed and that the Philistines gathered together at Mikmash, 
Then I said, the Philistines will now come down on me at Gilgal. And I have not made supplication to the Lord. Said, then I felt compelled. When the flesh wants to move you out of God's plan, it will keep giving you raging, raging reasons. Seven days have gone in. Have you, know, have you met friends who don't even allow you to celebrate New Year? By this evening, some people say, January 1 is already gone. Where are, you, where are you with your destiny? Hey, hey! Own Jew. And people are even more serious with life as though they are the king of the earth. Along God, thou do only rejoice. There are feast days in the Bible. There are even days God will say, do. There are even years God told you, say, don't walk. Your life is more than going from place to place. Pillar to place. Hey, 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 my future, my future. You are, have you bought land? Have you bought land? Have you any investment? Have, hey, calm down. Some people just want to. <laughs> have you seen all those investors when they want to take your money? They make you feel you are stupid. If you have not invested in uh, which one is outside now, you are being stupid. No, they are looking for money. If you have money, do it. But please, enjoy your life. It's one of the... Receive all food with thanksgiving. Say thanksgiving. Go home, call your father, call your mother. It is well with you. Happy New Year, it is well. She talking. Some of you are just too serious. Even spiritual things. Some people think God does not give you break. You must every time you say to say it's a lie. If you are like that, you will never be effective for God. I'm telling you the truth. Being in the spirit is not being giddy. God can speak to you in a party. It's about where you dwell. The reason why you can't hear God there is because you are far. Even if you are in church, you can't hear him. I'm not saying make every Saturday party. Said when I saw it, I felt compared. But see, every time I read this, I, I, sincerely speaking, how many of us can survive that prayer? Hmm? The Philistines have come. Your people are hiding in caves. Are you following me? The prophet did not come. The people are scattered. You have not prayed. The end, you just see. But this year, when the pressures come, say, The Lord is my trust and my refuge. Say, The Lord is my trust and my refuge. Look at 1 Samuel 14 18 and 19. This same soul. I just want you to know that the flesh is loud. Look at this place. Saul said to Ahijah, Bring the ark of God here. When you call for the ark of God, you want to inquire from God, isn't it? For at that time, the children of the ark of God was with the children of Israel. Verse 19. Now it happened while Saul talked to the priest that the noise which was in the camp of the Philistines continued to increase. So Saul said to the priest, Draw your hand. Something cut short his quest to seek and inquire. It was a continual increase of the noise. Are you following me? Something is going to challenge your resolution to make God your trust and refuge. It's called continual increase of the noise of the enemy. You're going to see that now. Some things will go down, some things will increase. Fair price will probably increase this year. Let's set it now. Is your heart beating? Who are time I want to deal? Is your heart beating? They will cause sudden PTA meetings. 
that school fees. Uh, we, we might have to do one or two things. The type of meetings you might not have much is your boss calling for a meeting for a salary review upward. <laughs> okay? They are touching you. Upward, uh, increase their salary. But when all these things are coming, may you be able to say, I have made the Lord my trust and my refuge. Because when this noise increase we saw, no, the priest, take, remove your hand. You know, there's a way the noise increase. Church, you begin to lose grip on the things of God. Because when the flesh gains power, the influence of the spirit diminishes. But can you see a man that was in the midst of that noise and said, until I hear from God, I won't move. That's a strong, that, that, that is not cheap. That's a strong resolution. And I'm praying this year that God will bring us that level of stability. Even if they, so when you read Psalm 46, even if the mountains be removed and cast into the sea, in this will I be confident. The confidence you started this year with, you need it. It's your fuel. Don't let it, don't let it get low. Don't go to the south. Let there be confidence. This is the confidence we have in him. That when we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Keep that confidence high. Because you have come into the year when God is your trust and your refuge. Stand to your feet and look. I want you to pray and, and hide yourself in God. I want you to enter into him. I want you to enter into him. I want you to hide yourself in him. I want you to cover him. I want him. I want you to feel his covering over you. I want you to sense his covering over you. Thank you, Jesus. Hide me. Hide me in your secret place. Hide me. Hide me in your secret place. My desire is to know you more. My desire, my desire is to love you more. Oh, my Lord, God. hide me, hide me in your secret place. My desire, my desire is to know you more. And put yourself under the covering of the Lord. Put yourself under the covering of the Lord. Lord, the noise of the world will not be stronger than the voice of God in my heart this year. Let your voice take preeminence. Let your voice rule. Let your voice rule. Let your voice rule. Let your voice rule. The, the voice of need will not take over till I start running and forgetting your kingdom. Let me hide in you. Get up and 
Shanda Labo Yata Laba. Why should I be afraid of what man can do to me? The Lord is my light. The Lord is my refuge. You are the one who truly judges right. You are the one who knows the time of my life. My seasons are in your hands. I walk in the pace of the Almighty. Coming a noise to your ears. Hey, 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 I want you to quiet it. I want you to put yourself in that refuge. I said, My times are in his hand. He directs my pace, he directs my steps, and everything that he has ordained for me will come to pass. Say, I call forth his purposes, I call forth his right judgments to speak for me in this year 2023. His right judgments to speak for me, his blessings and his will to take preeminence in my life. In the name of Jesus, I will not be troubled. I will not be troubled, and neither will I be ashamed. Shandele Boko Shidaba. Cover me, Lord. Cover me. Cover me. Extend the borders of your mantle over me. Cause you are. My nearest kiss, man. Jesus, cover me, cover me, cover me. In the midst of the nation, cause you are my nearest kiss, man. Cover me, cover me, cover me. When I go out, when I come in, Cause you are my nearest kinsman. Cover me, cover me. As I go about in my assignment in 23, cause you are my nearest kinsman. of the pestilence that walks in the day cause you are my nearest kiss man Jesus and the terrors that walk in the night cause you are my nearest kiss man cover me Concerning my zeal for the Lord, cause you are my nearest kiss, man. Cover me, cover me. When devils rise against me, cause you are when curses are spelled against me, when the enemy thinks of bringing me down. When temptations rise, when there's a noise in the flesh, cause you are my nearest this Lord. Cover me, Lord. Cover me. Wait, just pray in the spring. Marina. Arana Bayani. Marunga Shekaba. Maria de Cabonia. Maria de Kuriaba, Are de Kenya, Ariamba Katoshi, Aria de Bakonia, 
I will not carry mistaken identity. I will not carry the judgment of another man. The blood is my refuge. I have made the Lord my God my refuge. The God of Jacob is my refuge. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. There is a river. The streams there of make glad the city of God. Be still and know that I am the Lord. I will be exalted in the earth. I will be exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Now, finally, you are going to say, Father, over this situation, you will mention it. This year, you will be exalted. Lift your voice and pray. You will be exalted. You will be exalted. You will be exalted. Nothing, nothing will, nothing will counter your word and your testimony. You will be exalted. You will show that you are greater. You will show that you are able. This 2023, you will show that you can bring out the dead, the living out of the dead. That you can cause the living to come out of the dead. This year, 2023, you will show that you can bring waters out of the rock. You will be exalted. You will be over the cry of the flesh. You will be exalted. Only you will be exalted. Nero Shalada Asere Maya Come They caught that woman in the very act. They took her to Jesus. She was to be stoned. But they took her to the city of refuge. And Jesus lifted his eyes. He who has not sinned, let it be the font of truth the first stone. And when Jesus lifted his eyes, he said, woman, who has condemned you? He said, nobody. This year, you are delivered from the judgments of men. Amen. Nobody has a right to pass a final say over your journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if no man condemn me, I, the Lord, too, I do not condemn you. Every condemnation you carried over, I, the Lord, too, I do not condemn you. Your past blunders will not destroy your future in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy eat and say, Oh, he kokoto sheyeni mama fi tormente. He had the word of the Lord. The Lord said, I will have forgiven you and I will remember it no more. I will remember it no more. So I command you go forward in the name of Jesus and lift you from guilt and lift you from pain in the name of Jesus Christ. You find courage for the Lord your God is your trust and your refuge. If you believe it, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah somebody said 2023 god is our trust and our refuge on your apc on your bala blue even if there's earthquake in ibadu the Lord is my trust and my refuge. Amen. December 31, 2023, I will come out of that refuge to give a testimony. Amen. There shall be no attack that will take me. Amen. There shall be no trouble that will trouble anyone. Amen. That is my portion. Amen. That is your portion. Faithless assembly will go forward. Amen. For the Lord is his trust Amen. and the Lord is his refuge. Are you blessed this morning?